Hi everybody, the information that I've put forward in the last few days in regards to the Daniel's, Daniel prophecy, prophecies of days, written predominantly in uh, Daniel chapter 9 and Daniel chapter 12, and uh, the, these are the days that uh, these are the days that are written in into the everybody's timelines. Anybody that has a timeline, right, in regards to uh, the fulfillment of the days of Daniel's prophecy being the week, the tribulation week, the seven-year period, whatever you want to call it, the numbers are the numbers, right? 1260 days, 1290 days, and 1335 days, and then a further 42 months, which is three and a half years, 1260 days on its own, for the continuance of the beast to continue in power. Now, the videos that I've shown and God's grace to me, make, revealing it, what was hidden in plain sight, anybody could have seen this, anybody. So I'm no one special, but I saw it and I put it on the internet and it's not getting received. I don't understand it. It just makes me sick to my stomach. I wake up in the morning, I wake up in the middle of the night with, with those numbers, 408 for the 1290 days, Daniel 12, 11, and uh, Daniel 9, 27, and Daniel 12, 12, the 1260 days, the midst of the week, and the 1335 days, which is six years, six months, six days, and 216 days, that's the time period. I have that on my brain all the time, and nobody's talking about this. This should just turn this whole is Obama the Antichrist on its head. That should be the end of the discussion. This information could be getting into every Baptist church in America, every Baptist church in Australia that actually does talk about end times, and most likely it's going to be in the 99% of the time anyway, it's going to be in the pre-tribulation context because everybody's pre-tribulation -tri pre deceived. You want to know what the strong delusion is? The strong delusion is a lot of things in the Bible, but predominantly, besides 9-11, it is pre-tribulation rapture theory. Pre-tribulation rapture theory is the equivalent of comparing creation story to evolution theory. Pre-tribulation theory being the equivalent of evolution theory when we're standing up against, uh, when we're comparing it against creation story. There's only one version in the Bible. It's pre-wrath. God has not appointed his people under wrath. We're here for the seven seals. We're not here for the trumpet judgments and the vile judgments of the book of Revelation. Clearly, that is what Scripture says all the way through. There's no three, four different versions in the Bible, depending on which way you read it. That is bollocks. That is lie. That is a pit. That is a, that is a lie from the pit of hell perpetrated amongst Satan's messages on the earth. And we're talking about churches here. So if your pastor doesn't know who Obama is and you question him, he doesn't know who the Pope is and you question him when you question him. He, doesn't, he preaches pre-tribulation. He preaches from the NIV or the ESV or the uh, Living Bible or the Message Bible, any other Bible other than the King James Bible. I, uh, I implore you, leave. You are adding to the problem, not being part of the solution. If you can't make headway in your church and you're just going to sit there in front of your pastor, male or female, minister, male or female, and listen to the garbage that's not biblical on most accounts, not coming out of the Bible from the one precise, concise story of pre-wrath theory. Pre it's not theory, sorry. Pre-wrath biblical authority. Then what's the point of hanging around? What's the point of staying there? Go and talk to people with the truth that you know to be truth from the Bible that you clearly can read yourself and make headway in this world. Again, I say... The numbers contained in the days of Daniel's prophecy, which are clearly the numbers of Obama's name, which everybody can see, everybody can hear that this is truth. And this is clearly evident before your eyes. If you don't get it, write it down. Write down the days. Add up the days. Add up 1260 plus 1335 days. It equals 2,595 days. And that breaks down to six years, six months, six days, and 216 days. And the other one. 408 days plus 666 days plus 216 days, the numbers of Obama's name equals 1290 days. Simple, really easy. It's been there forever. Been there forever. Ever since the first manuscript was put together, 
that was the, the, the words of God for the modern day Bible, from, for the King James Bible and all the Bibles preceding from the Great Bible to the Geneva Bible to the Bishop's Bible uh, to Erasmus, um, the Texas Receptus. All these Bibles preceded the King James. Now, if you want to learn the history of the King James and that it's the Bible of choice for today's English English speaking world, you need to watch uh, New World Order Bible Versions by Stephen Anderson. As much as you might, and I know there are a lot of people that like him and a lot of people that hate him on the internet, Stephen Anderson, you need to watch that video regardless. New World Order Bible Versions and see the truth of what the elite conspirators, the Luciferians, have done with our Bibles, with the books that they want you to believe are the Bible. Satan has gone in there and used men mightily for his kingdom to deceive the elect, deceive the saint, deceive the Christians, the professing Christians with false heretical Bibles, which present a false Jesus and a false gospel. So get behind this information, not behind me, just get behind this information and um, share it. The days of Daniel clearly represent Obama and highlight him. Just like the Blood Red Moons do, when you do a breakdown of the Blood Red Moons from 1949 to 2015, you can clearly see Obama's birth numbers rubber stamped all over it. That's a sign from God for you to see and hear and take heed. Listen up. Listen up. Get with the program. I've seen it. Remembering that this is not my creation. I've just been fortunate enough to see it myself and share it on the internet. Because it got to a point when I was collecting this information and doing this research, I was busting at the seams because everybody I was speaking to in Australia, Christian and non-Christian, was telling me I've lost my mind. Absolutely lost my mind, I would say. In the church and outside of the church. And I have an intense hatred for the church now, the Main Street Church. I hate it. They can preach their salvation, good for them. I preach salvation too. But if they don't know all this other stuff and what the Bible says, other than the salvation message of the Gospels, then they're hopeless. I don't want to be part of it. And I'll do my own thing to the glory of God. Thanks for listening.